Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic. The basic derivative of trigonometric functions. Then we have this given y equals sine 3x. Since the derivative of sine u, that's cosine u times the derivative of u. So for this given, u is equal to 3x. So u is 3x. Then to find the derivative of u, or the derivative of 3x, this one is 3. Then to find now the derivative of this trigonometric function, so we have y prime equals, since the derivative of sine is cosine, so that's cosine u and u is 3x times the derivative of u and the derivative of u, that's 3. So therefore, y prime is equal to 3 times cosine, 3x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so to find the derivative of cosine, that's negative sine u times the derivative of u. So for this given, u is 7x minus 4. So u is 7x minus 4. Then for the derivative of u, so the derivative of 7x, this one is 7, and the derivative of 4, this one is 0. So du is equal to 7. So to find out the derivative of this trigonometric function, so we have y prime equals, so we just need to bring down this 5. Then for the derivative of cosine, that's negative sine. So we have negative sine u. And u is 7x minus 4 times the derivative of u and the derivative of u, that's 7. Then simplify, so y prime equals, so this 5 times 7, that's 35. Then since we have this negative, so that's negative 35. Then sine 7x minus 4. So, this is now the derivative. Then, for this given, so for the derivative of cotangent, that's negative cosecant squared u times the derivative of u. And for the derivative of cosecant, that's negative cosecant u times cotangent u times the derivative of u. So, for this given, we need to find the derivative for every term. So for this term, this is u, so u is equal to 4x, and for the derivative of u, so the derivative of 4x, this one is 4. Then for this term, u is 3x, so u is equal to 3x, and for the derivative of u, so the derivative of 3x, this one is 3. Then to find the derivative of this given, since the derivative of cotangent is cosecant squared u, so first we just need to bring down this uh, 3, so we have 3, then this negative cosecant squared u, so that's negative cosecant squared u, and u is 4x times the derivative of u, so the derivative of u that's 4. Then plus, for this cosecant u and the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant u, cotangent u. So we have negative cosecant u and u is 3x. Then cotangent u, so cotangent 3x times the derivative of u, and the derivative of u is 3. Then simplify, so we have y prime equals, so this 3 times 4, this one is 12, then we have this negative, so that's negative 12, then cosecant squared, 4x, then this positive and negative, that's negative, then we have this 3, so this one is negative 3, then cosecant 3x times cotangent 3x. 
So, this is now the derivative. Then, for this given, so we're going to use the product rule that u times v is equal to u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. So, since the given trigonometric function is second and the derivative of second is second u tangent u times the derivative of u. Then, using this product rule, so from this given, this one is u and this one is v. So, we have u is equal to x squared and for the derivative of u, so the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x, then v, so v is second 2x, and for the derivative of v, so since the derivative of second is second u tangent u, so we have second u and u is 2x, then tangent u, so tangent u, u is 2x, times the derivative of u, so times the derivative of 2x, this one is 2. So dv is 2, then second 2x, and tangent 2x. Then substitute now this uh, u, v, du, and dv to this formula. So we have now y prime equals u, u is x squared, times dv and dv that's 2 second 2x and tangent 2x then plus so plus v so v is second 2x times du and du so we have 2x then to simplify, so we have y prime equals, so we need to multiply this x and 2x, so we have 2x squared, then second 2x times tangent 2x, then plus, so we need to place this 2x before the second 2x, so we have 2x, then second 2x. So, this is now the derivative. Then, for this given, so using the chain rule, that u to the power n, so to find the derivative, that's n times u to the power n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So, since the given function is tangent and the derivative of tangent, that's second squared u times the derivative of u. So, for this given, using the chain rule, so first, we need to rewrite this given by putting this exponent outside. So, we have y then equals tangent 3x then to the power 4. So, using now the chain rule, so n, n is the exponent. So, we have y prime equals 4 times u, u is tangent 3x, then to the power n minus 1, so we have 4 minus 1, this one is 3, times the derivative of u or the derivative of tangent, since the derivative of tangent is second squared u, so we have second squared u and u is 3x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 3x that's 3 then simplify so we have y prime equals so we can multiply this 4 times 3 so this one is 12 then we can put this 3 on tangent so we have tangent to the power 3 then 3x, then times, second squared, 3x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so for the derivative of sine and derivative of tangent, so for sine is cosine u, and for tangent, the second squared u. 
but for this given, this is u, so u is equal to tangent 4x, and for the derivative of u, since the derivative of tangent is second squared u, so we have second squared 4x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 4x, this one is 4. So du is equal to 4, then second squared 4x. Then to find the derivative, since the derivative of sine is cosine, so we have cosine u and u, that's tangent 4x times the derivative of u and the derivative of u, that's 4, then second squared 4x. Then simplify, so we have y prime equals, so we can put this 4 before this cosine, so we have 4, then cosine, tangent 4x, then this second squared 4x. So this is now the derivative.